What's going on YouTube? It's Pete Boyer Fishing back with another video. This time we're going to Sebec Lake up in Dover Foxcroft, Maine. My buddy Corey and my buddy Doug and I are camping out for two nights for the Sebec uh, Lake Derby this year. We're going to be trying to catch monster togs. We have a couple places in mind, but we're going to have three sleds, so we might be moving some traps around. We'll see how it goes. As you can see, I got my car packed to the brim with all my ice fishing gear. But uh, yeah, look forward to it. I'm about, to, I'm in Boston right now. I'm driving um, up a few days early, but I'm super excited. We're ready to rip. We'll see what kind of fish we can get into. Let's go, baby. All right, it's morning one of the trip. It's about 5.30 right now in the morning. Snowed a little bit last night, uh, which is probably pretty good for the snowmobiling out on the ice. We're just getting the truck packed up, uh, getting the sleds ready. I'm actually making a quick dunking run. Uh, we're ready to friggin' rip. All right, just a quick overview. Got set up here. We got the main tent we'll be sleeping in. Old Eskimo Outbreak 850 XD. Couple holes for tonight. Cots. Three of us will be staying in. I think we're, uh, we're gonna be pretty set up in here. And uh, a little cooking shack and just one other set of guys out here. So so far so good. Both moved to the city, she drove north, and I shipped south. We traded them back roads for side streets on a concrete plane. Alright, we're setting up camp, trying to get our traps in the water. It's uh, Friday evening, about 4 o'clock. Ready to rip, baby. So this is where we're going to be sleeping tonight. The weather says it's uh, supposed to get down to 7 degrees, so... Should be decently cold, but we got some good um, cold weather gear. Got uh, some negative 40 um, sleeping bags and sleeping pads, so we should be uh, we should be feeling pretty comfortable in here with that heater ripping. So, and this is our other shack. This is going to be mainly the cooking shack. Right now, we're just kind of using it for storage. Uh, we set up this morning and sort of left it for the day, um, but uh, you know we're eventually going to be cooking, um, hanging out in here getting some grub going all right now i gotta set up all my traps so catch you later no i don't give a 
shit about that damn side land Don't give a damn, I'm from the north country When I turn up the dial, all I hear is I'm putting these all pretty close to bottom Um, you know, hoping to catch a toe this evening No, they don't know how to drink beer Shoot deer up in the woods like we do On a back row like we do Doug, call the f***ing warden. That's a cost. Yes, sir. Oh my God. There's cusk in here. So I, I'm gonna keep that. You know what, Corey? Now that I remember, I think there's a cusk division here. Isn't there in this derby? She's alive. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, check it out. Healthy fish. Let it run for a little bit. Yeah. We'll bite at night, boys. Yeah. Oh, not bad, actually. Yeah, yeah it's not bad. Healthy fish. Yeah. Healthy fish. Yeah. See how you can pick it up with its head facing. Nice. Nice first toe. Sweet. Take that. Sweet. Hell yeah, let's go. So we've been fishing uh, all morning since about 6 a.m. We have, uh, let's see how many traps we have out. We got about 14 traps out, I believe, right now, or maybe 13 traps. 
Just been jigging, trying to uh, see what we can get into. We got Doug here, hanging out. Yet to catch a fish. Yes, sir. We got one tow last night, just one cusk. You know, there's a bunch of other guys out here. I think a crew over in that direction over there caught a 19-inch uh, tow um, earlier this morning. So we'll report back when we actually have something to talk about here. <laughs> So we've had a couple of flags, all of them have been, uh, or have uh, appeared to be wind flags so far, so uh, there's one particular hole where a flag has been going up a decent amount, so we're about to go and uh, get our transducer out over in that area and uh, jig for a little bit. It's super windy out, so it's gonna be pretty cold, but hopefully it'll uh, get us into some fish. about 6 30 at night um we're just setting a couple of traps right by the shack that we're going to be checking over the next i don't know probably three or four hours right before we go to bed we wanted to pull our traps that were way out there in closer so that we could just kind of walk to them throughout the night and just check on them very easily I think the plan is to all just go down towards the bottom of the lake Put a, sh a uh, shiner down there, see what happens. I don't know if you can see it very well, but there's a very nice full moon out tonight. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put probably three or four traps out. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll put, you know, we'll, we'll probably keep them out right before midnight. We'll probably take them back in, but uh, yeah, we're, we're, you know, we're trying to hit it hard. We're trying to get as many fish as we can. So we'll see what, uh, we'll see what the night brings us. Check in a little bit later. For dinner, we're uh, cooking up a couple of New York strips. We just bought these at Shaw's a couple days ago. This one's all seasoned up, ready to go on the grill, baby. Let's go. Ready to be flipped. Get her over. 